the law of supply seems to be intuitive. For students to explain why the law of supply leads to a positive slope of the supply curve is often perceived as difficult. No, it's not. Even a kid could do it. What will you learn? You will learn about the meaning of the law of supply. You will also see why the law of supply leads to a positive slope of the supply curve and why the law of supply makes economic sense. The law of supply states the following. When the price of a good increases, firms will produce more of the good. Or when the price of the good decreases, firms will produce less of the good. Finally, the law of supply leads to a supply curve with a positive slope. We can see this here in the diagram. The supply curve has a positive slope. Before we look at the relationship between this positive slope and the law of supply, let's look first at the supply schedule in the upper left corner. When the price is $2, the quantity supplied is 4. When the price increases to $3, the quantity supplied increases to six, thus reflecting the law of supply. Does the upward sloping curve reflect the law of supply also? Let's give it a try. When the price is $2, the quantity supplied is four. When the price increases to $3, the quantity supplied increases to six, thus again reflecting the law of supply. When the price increases, quantity supplied increases also. The last question is, does the law of supply make sense? To answer this question, we use an example. On the map here, we see a valley. In the middle of the valley runs a river. Five farmers own wheat fields along the river. All fields have in common that a farmer can grow one metric ton of wheat on the field. The difference between these fields is that it requires different dollar amounts to produce one ton of wheat. If the market price of wheat is $440, none of the farmers can cover the cost with such a low price. Production is zero. If the market price is 450, then the farmers in the valley are able to cover the costs on their most fruitful fields, those which are close to the river. Remember, it cost $450 to produce on the fields close to the river. Farmers would produce on those fields and would supply 13 metric tons of wheat to the market. If the price increases to $460, Farmers would now cover their costs on the medium fields and they would produce on these fields. This would add nine metric tons from nine fields to the supply and market supply would increase to 22. Still, with a price of $460, farmers are not able to cover the cost on the fields that are far away from the river. Consequently, they would not produce on these fields. However, if the price increases to 470, the farmers would produce on those fields as well. Supply would increase by 12 to a total of 34. All this and the law of supply are reflected in the supply schedule for this market. If the price is 440, quantity supplied is zero. If it increases to 450, quantity supplied increases too. Another increase to 460 increases quantity supplied to 22. And finally, if the price is 470, the quantity supplied will increase to 34. To summarize, the law of supply leads to a supply curve with positive slope. The law of supply makes economic sense when we look at a production process where production cost per unit increase with increasing production.